All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over Google Ads Remarketing. So it's going to be our Google Ads Remarketing tutorial. I'm going to show you how to set up audiences and how to target them in your campaigns. So you can use remarketing audiences for your display campaigns, for your search campaigns, and your video campaigns. So I'm going to go through all of that in this video. Uh, but the first thing you need to do to get started is set up your remarketing audiences. So I'm going to be doing this today for farmhouse goals. Uh, so we're going to be setting up remarketing audiences for farmhousegoals.com. So what you want to do first is when you're in your Google Ads account, come to tools at the top here and go to audience manager under shared library. So this is our audience manager. So we have some different website visitor audiences created already. Um, they're automatically going to create some similar audiences here as well. Uh, so when you're setting up remarketing audiences, there's a few different ways to do it. So if you click on audience sources over here to the left hand side, it's going to show that we're getting audiences from our Google Analytics account. So you can either use your Google Analytics account or you can set up the Google Ads tag on your website. Some other options, so for a mobile app, you can use your app analytics here or you can use Google Play and link those to your account. Otherwise, you can use YouTube, which I'm going to show you in a little bit for Surfside PPC. So with YouTube, it's going to say remarket to people who interact with your channel, track actions that people take after watching video ads. So you could use a lot of different things when you're setting up audiences. So for this, I like to use Google Analytics because it's when I go to the Google Ads tag and I click on set up tag, it's going to say set up an additional tag. You've already set up the Google Analytics tag, which can provide the same information as the Google Ads tag. So you should have Google Analytics installed on your website. It's very easy to install on your website. You can check our Google Analytics tutorial if you're not familiar with how to do it, but basically all you need to do is open up Google Analytics, set up a new property, so this is ours for farmhouse goals right here, and then just install the Google Analytics code on your website. If you're using WordPress, if you're using Shopify, any of the main website providers, they make it very easy to set up Google Analytics because they know pretty much everybody uses it. So what you want to do, we're going to come back over to Audience Manager here, is make sure you set up Google Analytics on your website and then make sure you link your accounts. So we opened up linked accounts here. All you need to do is go to tools, linked accounts under setup. Here's Google Analytics, so you're going to click on details. So and that's going to allow you to link your analytics property to your Google Ads account. You can set up goals and import them. You can set up audiences here. So we have five audience lists. If you go to create audience lists, once you have your Google Analytics account linked to your Google Ads account, you can just set up lists right in Google Ads or you can set up, up set them up in Google Analytics. So what, what you want to do is after you link your accounts, you set up Google Analytics, you want to make sure you go to tracking info here and data collection. So you might see something like this where it says data collection for, for Google Signals. You want to turn that on. If you're not seeing this, if you're seeing something like enable remarketing, then you want to turn that on as well. Click on save. So that's going to allow you to set up remarketing audiences for your account and publish them into Google Ads so you can target them for your account. So the other thing you can do is we're going to come back to this main admin screen under property. So we're in our farmhouse goals property here. You want to make sure your Google Ads account is linked. So this is where ours is linked right here. It should show it right here as well. And then if you scroll to the bottom, you can see audience definitions here. So there's audiences, dynamic attributes. So I'm not going to be going through dynamic remarketing in this tutorial. I do want to set up a tutorial for that because I get a lot of requests for dynamic remarketing. Um, so under audience definitions and audiences, this is where you can set up some of your different audiences and then publish them into Google Ads. So we have an audience, all users here. So that just records everybody who visits our website. We have a converted audience. So anybody who does fills out one of the conversions on our website, completes a conversion, uh, whether it's a lead or a sale. So if you're trying to sell, let's say, one product to people, you can exclude converted audiences from your campaign so that they don't continue to see your advertisements. Or you can target your converted audiences if it ends up being something where you can sell multiple products to the same people. The other thing you can do is set up for specific pages on your website. So we have farmhouse sinks here. So it says page contains farmhouse copper sinks, farmhouse sinks. So you can make sure that when people are visiting specific sections of your website or something where you can categorize people all in the same audience and then you can target them in your campaigns as well. You could do returning visitors, so people who have visited your website multiple times. And then we have a smart list here as well. So it's just a Google managed audience. So when you're in Google Analytics, if you click on new audience here, so these are some of their recommended audiences. You can just click on create new at the top here. Um, otherwise, you can choose any of these different options. So maybe I want to do new users this time. So we're going to do new visitors. It's going to show users over the last seven days. You can set a membership duration. So for right now, it's saying 30 days. And then it's saying eligibility. So you can use it for Google Ads display, Google Ads for marketing lists for search ads, Google Analytics, and then external partners as well. So audience name, I'll just do new visitors, 30 days next step. 
Now it's going to say audience destination. So this is where you want to publish it into Google ads right here and then make sure you have it in Google analytics as well. And then we're just going to click on publish. So now I have that remarketing audience created and I can target them in my campaigns if I want to target new visitors specifically. Otherwise, I can target some any of those other audiences. I can target a combination of audiences. So we're going to come back to Google Ads here. We opened up our audience manager. So our audience source right here says Google Analytics for farmhouse goals. We're going to come up to audience lists. Now when you click on remarketing, you can create remarketing audiences for website visitors app users, YouTube users, and then if your account is eligible, then you can upload a customer list. I believe you need to spend $50,000 or more in your account before you can do this. So it's really for more advanced advertisers. People who are spending a lot of money in Google ads can upload their email list or a buyer's list or any list of emails and something like that where you've collected data from your customers and then you can target them in your campaigns as well. Otherwise, you can do a custom combination. So you can do something like people who are on my YouTube channel and people who visited my website. So that's very relevant for Surfside PPC. So there's a lot of different options there. So what I can do is click on website visitors here. It's going to say audience name. I could do people who visited a specific page. I can do so match every rule group, match any rule group. There's a lot of different options here. Um, visitors who did not visit another page, visitors of a page during specific dates, visitors of a page with specific tags. So you have a lot of different options that you definitely want to play around with when you're trying to set up remarketing. So that's pretty much setting up audiences. So I'm going to open up Surfside PPC real quick and just show you one more example. So we're in Surfside PPC now, and you can see we have an all YouTube views list. We can use it on the search, YouTube, display, and Gmail. We can target people using any of those advertisements. And what I can do is actually set up an audience and do a custom combination, and it's going to say any of these audience. So I can do people who are all users on my website, and I can do all my YouTube viewers. We'll just call it the website and YouTube audience. So anybody who's pretty much interacted with our business, we can set that up. You can add an audience description if you want. We're just going to click on create audience. So now we have a brand new audience here, website and YouTube audience. It's still populating, so it might take a little bit of time for audiences to populate. Um, so I would give it at least 24 hours, but you can start targeting in your in your campaign anyway. And then as it populates, you can start the people will start seeing your advertisements. So it's really that simple to create your audiences and then any of the ones that you're targeting or excluding, you can see right here are in use. Any of the ones you're not using are not in use. So pretty simple. So we're back over here in farmhouse goals now. Now there's a couple different options that you can use. So for display and video campaigns, it's pretty similar when you're targeting remarketing audiences. Uh, for search campaigns, what you can do is go into your search campaign. And we kind of went over this on a previous tutorial, but let's just say, for example, I'm going to use my farmhouse sinks as an example under audiences here. What I can do, it's going to say you don't have any audiences yet. I can click here to add audiences to the ad group farmhouse sinks. And if I click on browse and remarketing, I can come under website visitors and then target people who have been on my farmhouse sinks page. So pretty simple. So I create an audience for people who have visited farmhouse sinks pages on my website, click on save. And now I'm targeting these people while in my search campaign, it's too small to target for Google properties. So one thing to keep in mind, and we're going to open this real quick is there is remarketing list size requirements. So for the display network it must have a minimum of 100 active visitors or users within the last 30 days. Search network is 1000. So that's why I'm not able to target that one yet. Uh, so that's within the last 30 days. YouTube is a minimum of 1000 active visitors or users. And then Gmail is 100. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to target remarketing audiences for the search network. You do need larger audience sizes. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind. So once this reaches a thousand people, then it's going to start targeting this audience as well on search. So one of the things to keep in mind with search campaigns when you're targeting audiences is there's a targeting setting here. So targeting is going to narrow your ads to just your audience. Observation is going to allow you to target everybody and then you can bid higher or lower on your audiences. So if I set this audience here and I set it as observation, it's not going to narrow my campaign at all. But I can set a bid adjustment and say I want to increase bids by 25% when people in my audiences also search my keywords. And then if it's not someone in my audience, I still want to target them. So I always use observation as a setting on the search network. On the display network, I always use targeting. So this is considered remarketing lists for search ads. So it, we do need at least a thousand members before we can start targeting them. But what I'm going to do here is come back to all campaigns, go to campaigns here. So if I do want to create a new remarketing campaign, what I can do is click to add a new campaign. 
you have search, display, shopping, video, app, and smart campaigns. So smart is a new option over here, but what you can do is click on display. We're going to try to drive sales to our website. We're going to do a standard display campaign. You can enter your website here. So farmhousegoals.com. We'll click on continue. So now it's going to start setting up a new campaign. So you want to name your campaign, set your location targeting, language targeting, your bidding strategy. So I always focus on conversions or conversion value. So that's generally a best practice is to make sure you're using automated bid strategies if you're able to, because it's just going to give you the most out of your budget. So I want to keep scrolling down. You want to set your budget here. So where you set up your remarketing is in audiences. So under audiences, what you want to do is go to browse. At the bottom, it's going to be remarketing and similar audiences here. If you have YouTube users, then your YouTube users will show up at the bottom here. I'm going to create a separate tutorial for YouTube retargeting because it's just a whole different strategy than display and search retargeting because you're trying to target people who have viewed, viewed your videos and you might want to retarget them with videos. You might want to retarget them with display ads, so just something that you can do as well. Then all you need to do now is click on website visitors from the drop down and you can see we have all of our different audiences here. This is the one we just created, so new visitors over the last 30 days. So it's very simple to set up. Just link your Google Analytics account, start creating audiences, publish them in Google Ads, and then you can target people right near campaigns. So I can set this up right now. It's going to say my targeting's reach is pretty small. I don't get a ton of traffic on farmhousegoals.com, so I don't have huge audiences here. But even if I target this all users audience, uh, so it's going to be 1.6 thousand people. Uh, so that's not a terrible audience size. You can definitely get some activity for your campaign. If you're a little bit smaller, so Farmhouse Sinks 270, there's not going to be a ton. It's not going to be a huge audience that you can target. Um, so what I would highly recommend doing is either starting with combined lists. If you don't have a huge audience yet, try to combine people from different audiences if you can, or just use your all users audience. You can always create larger audience sizes. So if you want to do something like 60 days, you can go all the way up to 540 days, which is a little bit long. But if you do want to use remarketing, you can always increase your audience size by increasing the dates of how long people are on that list. Um, but as you start getting larger audiences, so for example, let's just assume these are all in the 10,000s or something like that, you can split off your different website visitors, audiences into different ad groups. So what I would do is maybe do something like target my smart list in one ad group and then target my farmhouse sinks in another ad group and just try to send people to the best possible pages based on what they're viewing. This is where dynamic remarketing can come in because as you're getting more traffic on your website, you can make sure that people are seeing the actual pages that they visit on your advertisements. So if you go through Wayfair.com, for example, I always get dynamic remarketing ads from them. So if you visit specific product pages on Wayfair.com, what's gonna happen is you're gonna start being remarketed to based on the pages that you visit. So that's dynamic remarketing. And it's really meant for websites with a lot of traffic, websites with a lot of different pages where people are gonna visit. Um, so that's something you can set up over time. So now to complete your remarketing ads campaign, first off, I would highly recommend checking out our Google Display Ads tutorial if you're just getting started with Google Display Ads. If you're familiar with setting up campaigns, all you need to do is set the audiences you want to target. You can narrow by demographics if you want. You can target multiple audiences here. Um, but what you want to do is I generally just set one audience per ad group. We'll close this here. So it's going to say my targeting's reach is 10,000 impressions. Not terrible. You can expand your targeting a little bit. So if you want to expand it to more reach, it's going to say 20,000 more impressions on average than manual targeting. So we went from 10 to 30. So what they're going to do is reach users, other high performing audiences similar to your target. So just something you can do if your audience size isn't that big yet. And then scroll down, set up your ads here, and then click create campaign, set up your bids, your budget. And it's really that simple to use remarketing ads with Google. Um, so I'd highly recommend getting started with it if you're not already. If you're using Google Display Ads and you're trying to drive leads and sales, it's the best possible targeting method you can use in my experience. So get started with it, start to test. If you have a YouTube channel, make sure you're using your YouTube channel as well. I'm gonna create a separate tutorial for YouTube remarketing. Um, so make sure you check that out as well. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching our video today and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.